Seems like a likely thing. <laughs> <laughs> Primarily critical. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Primarily Critical. If movies had an after party, this would be it. If you have not seen this film, we suggest that you do so before viewing any further. Because we got spoilers, trivia, and opinions like crazy, and we can't wait to share them. Hey, good, bad, new, old, weird, or gross. We pass judgment on them all. Today! <laughs> if you're going to run drugs, have good friends. <laughs> I'm not very happy with that. My name is Steve. I'm here with Phil and John. Uh, today we're talking about Brawl in the Cell Block 99. Uh, can I suggest a better... Uh, uh, yeah, please. Tag. Is that what you call these? Tags sure. Yeah. yeah it's... Um, a head-stomping good time. Great head. time. I like it. A head stomping good time. There you go. What, what, now, what made you pick this movie? Um, I had seen this movie uh, like over a year ago, you and had. of course, you're like Vince Vaughn in a in a like a. How would you describe his character as a like a tough guy, tough, super tough guy, super damn like almost superhuman tough guy. Yep. Uh, and previously we reviewed and we watched uh, Return to Paradise. Right. And, and so this Vaughn. young Vince Vaughn, he did a great job in that movie. Yeah. And I want, I thought, well, hey, you guys, if you like Vince Vaughn, how about you get extreme Vince Vaughn? Yeah, and they're and both this, prison. Right? Yes. Prison and Vince Vaughn movies, two of them. That's right. Are. This yeah, is the story of his time in that foreign prison. And that's six <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you what do you guys think of this ultra violent movie? It slowly builded until it kicked in and it got really violent. You know what? No, I don't know if I'm interrupting you, but um, I was bleh. I was meh about the whole movie, and I hated the title. Yeah. But now that I've sat with it mm -hmm. for a little while, I believe the aftertaste is better. It's much better. Yeah, I kind of, I can, I can kind of c concur with that. I mean, yeah. I, I wasn't just. Uh, overly impressed with the movie. I mean, there was parts of it I really liked. Uh, and then there was parts that I just thought was kind of like, um, I don't know, I just didn't, uh, it was just a little, I don't know if lackluster is the word. It was... Uh, well, it's a very bleak. Bleak. Direct. Bleak the, yeah. It's direct. And it's a very simple movie when you think about it. His uh, wife with baby yep. uh, is taking ransom. Yep. He's got to kill somebody in cell block 99. Yep. And he, he goes right at it, right? Once he knows he's in prison, he didn't snitch, he didn't roll over, and he's going to do seven years for drug drug trafficking. Mm -hmm. And once he knows his wife's in jeopardy and his unborn girl, child, baby, he goes right to work. And he attacks whatever's in front of him. The prison guards, uh, cell mates, yeah. There's no time for chit chat. He he barely gets to know anyone. Yeah. <laughs> he makes it right to South Block 99. Yeah. And it's a horrible <laughs> prison. It's the kind of prison you wish that uh, Jeffy Dahmer and the worst of the worst got to stay in. Yeah, you kind of yeah. you kind of wish that some of the monsters were there. Yeah. yeah. It's it's off the ch it's like a, a hidden place within the already shitty. Thing. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> is, didn't you think this movie was just like it, it just was, uh, like I I you kind of like the guy. I mean, you know, he yeah. sure. You, you, this is one of those characters I actually did like him. Uh, it did draw me in, unlike the previous movie we were talking about. Um, and his life just goes down, 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 and it just doesn't get better. It just kind of is just this bleak ride with him down into a pit of hell. You yeah, know what I mean? but and, it was kind of fun. And when, it when, is when but, you just look at it as it is, just a over the top, like Mortal Kombat style killing. You know, <laughs> the way he kills these people, he's bashing their heads in. It's graphic as heck. Yeah. I mean, it was, yeah, you're right. I and mean, in, in that way, it's not a serious movie. It's kind of silly. Like, yeah, I don't know. But Vince Vaughn is fun to watch like that. Mm. He shaves his head. He's got a cross on the back of it. And he's, he's not a convincing tough guy. I mean, you know, he's always been tall. But well, I, I, I obviously he bulked up as much as he bit, could yeah, for the role yeah, yeah, uh, here. And yeah. uh, He must yeah, have I mean, wanted to do something like this, right? He must yeah. have said... Damn tired of doing those rom com movies and the being the nice guy, the romantic guy, or the funny. He did. He, what do you got for me? <laughs> he did have an uptick. He did have an uptick. When the movie started, he lost his job. 
found out his girlfriend's cheating on him. All right? And then he... he and, that and was he, funny. He, he tore apart the car. He beats up her car. <laughs> <laughs> but for, for a moment after that, we go eight months into the future or something like that. Yeah. And he's taking a job as a as a runner, drug, drug, drug runner. runner. And he pre- previously did it or something. And he previously did mm-hmm. it for a while. But she's pregnant now and they're happily married. They got a nice home. And a nice Several home. vehicles. And, yeah, he's yep. got a suit. And... and this guy that he's working for seems like a complete sleazeball, mm-hmm. but he ends up being a total stand-up. Yeah. Total stand-up guy. He knew, but, but whatever. It's maybe, true. Um, maybe, maybe he wanted to get back to the car beating up. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. It was a good scene. He just starts I mean, beating on the car. <laughs> and, you know, at that moment when he starts beating on the car, I, like, I started having flashbacks of um, – once we're warriors, I thought this guy's going to be a white beating maniac. You know what I mean? No. But uh, uh, because just his temper, the way. He, but no, he was. He was. A, and you know, it, what bugs me is, is, <laughs> is is he had he could have walked away. If there's that scene where they're they're uh, getting money from uh, the water or whatever that chest, and and he's he's driving yeah. driving the boat. Oh yeah. And at one point, those stupid idiots he's with start having a gunfight with the cops. And he turns back and, and decides, ah, these fuckers, I'm going to kill them. Because they, would, because they would turn him in. Oh, okay, that's another angle I didn't he, really He think. had to kill them because he knew these idiots were going to get caught, going to uh, go and down. And they up getting And they would rat him caught. out and he would end up going to prison. Yeah. So I think his goal was to come back to kill him. But, uh, but why wouldn't he rat on them? Is that the code when you're in that world? You know, Why scene- wouldn't he rat on his guy? Uh, oh, guys, the whole di- bit. The whole bit. He didn't drop the dime on I think that's the. I think he's and that he kind of guy. And he had a wife. He's, think, he's yeah. jeopardizing losing his wife. He could have done less time. And clearly yeah. he can handle himself because they then went to shit anyways for him. So it kind of bugged well, yeah, It just bugged I me. know. I think when he, when he commits to something, like, okay, I'm going to be a criminal. Criminals don't snitch. I'm not going to snitch. Right? Yeah, I guess that's you know the way I mean? it works, right? So I don't think he's wishy-washy about any of his decisions. He was a very direct guy, and he's a man of few words. Yeah. And uh, this guy, as I'm, he had the accent, the southern drawl, and it reminded me of like Forrest Gump's cousin or something. <laughs> he's kind of like, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's like it's, or a swing blade or something. Very simple, little bit bits here and there. He had a little bit of comic relief. Mm. I got 25 seconds left. <laughs> he's still beating on that guy. <laughs> I told you, he's going to separate his head from his body. And he did. Uh, and he did. <laughs> um, they're working on their sobriety. Did you catch that? Yes. Uh, no, both, what? both him and his wife are oh, working yeah. on their special. sobriety. That's special. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So when, <laughs> when she cheats on him, he says, he asks like three questions. One yeah. is, is serious? She says, no. And two, uh, are, are you are you sober? And she says, yes. And then he says, are we going to work this out or something like that? Yeah, that's are, right. Are we yeah. going to keep trying to make this work? And, and they, that, and I guess they did. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and they were trying to have a baby. They were. Yeah. Um, I think so. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that there, was an accident. It, it, on that note, it was a sweet moment when he's on the phone with uh, his wife. She's safe. Mm. Uh, that was at the end when she uses the machine gun and kills the abortionist. Oh yes, which was a cr- wow! What a creepy, what a horrible low life. job. Yeah, really. <laughs> where did you and find he, this guy? And the you guy's like mean? put off. Oh, I didn't get the. T- <laughs> where does this? Guy, how does this guy practice this craft? It's like <laughs> it was one of the w- w- most vile characters. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't say anything. He just smiles. He he gets whacked at the end, so it's all yeah. good. But like, there's a sweet moment where she uses the cell phone and she just lets him talk to the unborn kid. And he gets to say whatever, and he's meanwhile the warden's like uh, giving him time. <laughs> Played by Don Johnson, yeah, from Miami yeah. Vice fame. Um, I kind of liked his character because he was like, he was like, he's just doing his job. He beat up his, kill his prison guards and stuff, and he's in the end they kill him. And he, he kind of he knew he was gonna go down, right? He just stares. I, up. I, I feel like he got off easy by getting killed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I thought, wow! You don't. Did you just, think he was going to get killed? Do you think he was going to get out somehow? I, I just wasn't punch sure. His what way was, out I honestly didn't know what had happened, but I thought getting killed for everything he did, oh. uh, the havoc he wreaked, uh, uh, gave uh, Don Johnson's character there. Yeah, I thought Don Johnson would have like even a 
extra layer of hell. Like, you saw those torture devices at the beginning, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Now, we've seen the belt, but there was a lot more things <laughs> hanging on that wall, right? Who knows what kind and of I hideous thought, this things guy is getting there. them all now, right? After yeah. what he's done, he's getting it all. But he got off easy. He got a bullet, in, you know. And oh, a bullet to the head. It yeah. his head clean off. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean. And that's the last shot. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Like, Oh. Cut the black and it goes into uh, like a funky uh, nineteen seventies uh, funk song. <laughs> okay, now picture this in your mind's eye. Um, what's Vince Vaughn's character's name? Bradley. Bradley is sitting behind a steel door, talking on the phone, talking to his wife, talking to his buddy. Oh, the cell phone reception the cell phone down there. Sorry, the cell phone reception was pretty damn good. <laughs> So yeah. he's, he's talking on the phone. He's behind yeah. the steel door. Why is he behind the steel door? Because he doesn't want to get shot by the guards. Right? Mm-hmm. right? Yeah. After the phone call, he still has 45 seconds yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah. And he goes to business. He goes to business, <laughs> but he has to go around that door. Yeah. To get to business. Right? So. You thought that was a. a- they would shot him. <laughs> Why didn't they shoot him? Why didn't they shoot him? I don't know. Good it was question. A continuity have to, problem. Uh, I have yeah. to, we'd have to watch that again. Maybe there's something I missed there. I get what you're saying. He purposely hid behind that door. They were behind the bars. They could have gassed him. He said, even before he tried to gas me or whatever. But he held it one uh, uh, guy held oh, hostage. hostage. But uh, but if you kill him. And then the, in, and the other inmate he wanted to kill. Ultimately yeah. his target. Um, the, the one guard, he kept trying to get out of that prison cell. He just eventually just cracks his head to the door and crunches his head. There's so well, many he didn't moments mean of to, but he's no, like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Why'd you do that or something like that? I don't know. It's just and the way he takes out that one guy, the one guy, Which the guy? inmate, the guy that was boxing in the tires. He's he's he's. Oh yes, he just steps on his head, step drags his. his- it's just, it's just moral combat. <laughs> Finish him. Yeah, and then he knocks him over Fate and he's got like a skull face. Because his face was... It's funny because it's, <laughs> at that point, it's not serious anymore. It's just yeah. graphic violence for being graphic sake, right? Like yeah, Tarantino. It was, yeah, I was just going to say it's Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, just... Yeah. just yeah. Um, uh, what's the term? Or the... the uh, what do they call that genre back in the 70s? The grindhouse. Grindhouse, yeah. It became Grindhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there's a couple scenes where they're in a car and we hear the music from the radio. I don't know. It, it stood out for me that that happened a few times. One, uh, when they're dropping the... Uh, at the end of the movie, when they're dropping the wife off. And then at the beginning of the movie, when Bradley is driving around in his blue car before he finds out his his wife's cheating on him. I don't know. I guess there's nothing really to say about that. Uh, 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 I I hated the title. What did you. Yeah. Why would you call it. But I think it echoes back to the Grindhouse kind of movie uh, thing. Um, If you were going to come up with a better title, what would it be? Oh, oh, no. I'm gonna kick your head in. Yeah. <laughs> Him in his his boots. Head crushed all delicious. Tra- all, uh, where, did he eventually get boots to put on? Because he was wearing those uh, those those really uh, tight shoes. Right, he kept saying his foot was like stuffed well, slippers in there. or whatever. And then uh, did it? Did he switch into some serious boots? Because when he stepped on people, man, he. <laughs> Uh, just, no, no, he just took the soles out of his shoe so he could well, tuck them into the he thing. He was still wearing those rubber shoes. So it was basically, this guy was a powerful dude. Yeah, but he's got bunions or whatever. <laughs> he crunched. Three different heads were crunched. Right. Like, like curb stomp style. Yeah. It wasn't just... yeah but you got to watch out for those bunions. <laughs> <laughs> serious bunion. Yeah. I don't know. That was pretty funny how he decided, uh, you know, he got shocked how many times with that belt. Oh, yes. And taser belt, whatever you want to call it. And eventually, just as he's talking to the guy from the other cell, he just pulls up the stoles and just like quietly puts it in the back. And he, and then he gets tested and it worked. And he went just with the town after that. That's enough of you and your switch. Well, yeah. Well, there was one time he pretended. He faked mm-hmm. it. He faked it. Yeah. Just to catch him off guard. But he's a smart guy. Uh, like, of course. 
that's all I got. Does anybody else have anything? Or, um, well, I, okay, I have, I have something. Yeah, we yeah. Have some um, notes. What's your I understanding of these? Uh, okay, the, the guys in Cell Block Ninety Nine. There's the drug runners that uh, the the boss of those of those guys that hit the what, Mexicans was out there. Were I think they, I think he sure. said they're Mexicans, right? Yeah. Now I guess they're in prison as well. Right. But they're being treated very well in Cell Block 99, it appears. Yeah. They've got a they table. To, they're yeah. being, you know, like, yeah. uh, um, doesn't that seem a little odd? Like, Cell Block 99 is supposed to be this, why are oh, they obviously there? Obviously, there's a deal that they made. There's a deal there. Clearly, there's some kind of deal, because he had a phone in, yeah. in the prison. So, as much as you might think Don Johnson's a guy of punishment and, uh, you know, dealing out the kind of punishment you think the worst of the worst should get, yeah. he's, he's been bought bought off. And he, you, yeah, obviously. Okay, was. right. So, so, but cell block ninety nine. Then let's just think of the logistics of cell block ninety nine. What the way I understand it is, you've got a hallway of the people that are the worst of the worst. They're locked in their rooms. At the end of the hallway, you got this room where the best people in the jail got it. It's kind of an oddball setup, don't you think? It is. You know, like uh, they're hidden away. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, these would be the guys that are like throwing their sperm at you and walk by, right? So whenever these is the best of the the guys being treated, should the they best, even had a, a cushier spot? Well, yeah, it just seems kind of weird, right? That Maybe they wanted kind of, it that way. Maybe they, they want to be, be uh, out of you know they have to spot. listen to all the nutcases uh, uh, yelling. It's true, at, you know, it's it's oh, a no, weird, right? The guy that he gives the taser to, the prison inmate across from him, um, I don't know what his story was. He was a little creepy. He obviously some. They never say. What they he never did. say his story. What yeah. he did. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he seems. He seems like he was. There's somewhat nice there. At least he liked uh, our guy. Mm, no, he was trying to. He's like trying to, you know, glean yeah. some information. Well, Bradley even said, uh, "I'm going to let your guard get raped by these guys." <laughs> right. <That's laughs> yeah, not. that's right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he says he's, they're definitely going to rape him. <laughs> that's what he says. Oh wow. man. Yeah, at that point, he, he knew he was done. He was yeah. done for him, so. And it seems like this, this cell block 99, too, there's no windows and stuff. It's like, I can't tell if it's down in a dungeon. It is pretty or, or, basically. Or, or up, it it or was medieval, up right? Up in a tower. It, up in it a was tower. Freaking, yeah, you think so? I don't know. It yeah. was from the Dark Ages, medieval looking. Yeah, like, very odd, yeah. <clears throat> well. Uh, <coughs> yeah, let's get, let's get into the trivia. All right. During a Q&A at TIFF, which is, I believe, the Toronto International Film Festival, the producers commented that the direction of the car was... Um, the destruction of the Destruction of the car was done by Vince Vaughn. The car parts were real and were set up in a way that Vaughn wouldn't hurt himself. Really? Badly. Oh, thing. So, wow. um, Why couldn't they make fake parts that you could smash up? Uh, that seems odd. He, he took a good shot at that, at that car window. Yeah. yeah, and it didn't break, and yeah. it made me think, "That's a real car window." Yeah, <laughs> do you notice that? That's like method acting, right? Right? You want to really do it? You want to yeah. really be the guy? But then he took the hood off, and I'm like, "Yeah, right. yeah." That, that came off way too easy. That, that would never happen. Yeah. I mean, if it came out that easy, I'm sorry, you'd, you'd be yeah, I've seen hoods flying all over the place. You know, mm, totally. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'll take the next one. Sure. The sp- uh, prosthetics used in fight scenes to show injuries were made to look like 1970s style grindhouse effects. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just like you said. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Through. Uh, writer and director S. Craig Zoller wrote this screenplay before writing Bone Tomahawk in 2015, despite the latter being filmed first. Mm. Did you guys see Bone? I have not seen that. No. With we, your other guys. Yeah, we did a review on it. I saw it. It's it's a similar kind of violent, it's violent movie. It's similar, yeah. Right? Uh, so and there's it's a. Bleak. <laughs> this yeah. guy likes his bleak. Yeah, you know what? I'm digging it. I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what else he's going to be up to or has done. It's kind of fun stuff. It's just fun. <laughs> I don't know if this appeals to women. <laughs> but, it, but the, uh, the is... boyish, uh, you know, when, these are the kind of movies you weren't allowed to see when you were a kid. Right? Yeah. Uh, like the violent, yeah. And what's you know he's a tough guy. He yeah. definitely is a physical well, you know, presence that Vince Vaughn really I mean, wanted to be. Wow, I, I've always had problems with the, the movie, like uh, you know, where the one one guy is just kicks everyone's ass, like mm-hmm. you know the John Wick and mm-hmm. Rambo Commando. I mean, there's there's been even Die Hard. I mean, Die Hard I like more just because. It's more- 
believable. It's a little more it, believable, it, yeah. But it's just it's always this thing is like he, there's no guy that tough, right? Like it's just only only in Hollywood, you know. Yeah. And that's that's but just it's fun. There's a lot of no. fun <laughs> superhero movies out there. This guy's a different spin on a you know like a yeah not a superhero but a one tough motherfucker. Yeah, toughest guy, toughest ever, guy yeah. in the block in the prison. Yeah. Uh, You next? Sure. Upon arriving, um, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just, you, you gotta know that your your protagonist is mortal. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Unless it's a superhero movie. Then mm. then you know what you're getting into. Um, upon arriving in, at the prison, two separate prisoners uh, make reference to a prison in Austria. Yeah. Uh, they are <clears throat> most likely referring to Justice Center Leoben. Leoben? Uh, which has been recognized as one of the nicest mm -hmm. prisons in the world due to mm -hmm. its modern and luxurious uh, architecture and furniture. I felt like Googling that because, yeah, they made reference to that. And both times, Bradley's like, you didn't, didn't know anything about it. You need yeah. to aim higher. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true. I've seen, um, uh, I think 60 Minutes or something did a, a, a part on German prisons, similar things. They're yeah. very, like, into rehabilitating yeah, well, not that's, that's the whole thing. Not the American style, it, or whatever it, it is, or worse, right? Well, yeah, they they put <laughs> I mean, they, they they call it corrections, but they're really not correcting anything. These guys, uh, these guys in Austria, I think they they are correcting, trying to correct, yeah, people, trying to make right? them in back into the uh, yeah if productive they, citizens in society, mm -hmm. and even their people in in that are in there forever. I think. Uh, yeah, they 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 try and make them um, as comfortable as possible so that they can just slowly fade into death. <laughs> well, part of the problem with I guess American style prison is it's a profiting system. They profit off of incarceration, right? They try, yeah. Uh, um, I'm not, not sure what you mean by that. State not, by state, not the have, government. Mm, Who's there's profit? federal pr prisons, but there's state prisons, right? And then there is that element of of profiting off of money gets spent and they incarcerate people and they make profit off the prison system and they're not helping these people they're just they do their time they're well, out yeah I you know, know what i mean i know i think i know what you mean like these corporations come along they build prisons mm -hmm. and they keep people there but they're they're not profiting off the prisoners they're not profiting off the, the government pays them yeah. right that's how they're profiting and so yeah, yeah not a, the even, taxpayers the are losing out big time on it. yeah people in general but are, they're not helping them so then in, in other words they're just wanting to keep the count a uh, prison count steady yeah. and keep the you know the system flowing because it's benefiting someone up at the end oh. right yeah it's sad whereas other systems are actually trying so yeah well you know this movie was uh off this was just a grindhouse movie i think overall it was just stuff yeah this movie was not a comment on just no not at all no no i mean I, maybe well, I the comment is that you wished prisoners would get that the worst get that kind of prison like medieval terrible conditions yeah maybe maybe but then you worry the wrong <laughs> uh, um wrongly accused person gets into that system Mind so. the glass. <laughs> yeah, it was... Oh, the whole bit about there's shit in that toilet, and he's just... Yeah, no plumbing, like, fuck. It's just bad. I can't eat in here. It's just bad. Ugh. But, fun. That's yeah. what I'll say about that's it. fun. That's fun. Anyway, that's all I got. Wow. Is that, is that uh, Brawl in Cell Block 99? I think it is. Do you want me to do the sign off? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, primarilycritical.com. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Um, we got all our podcasts for you to peruse and. Uh, YouTube. Check We're on YouTube. Fondle. Yeah. What? I guess you can't really fondle. Fond fondle the. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you could, you could click on that all day long. <laughs> and uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm sure you could find that. Uh, <laughs> that a prison belt that's the uh, taser belt oh, yeah. on ebay yeah you know <laughs> yeah you can get your jollies it, that way <laughs> if you if you're really into this movie i'm sure you can find this belt <laughs> what if somebody is some fan out there of this movie's actually made one of those the home version of this yeah cosplay 
<laughs> you could you could be Vince Vaughn, Bradley, in cosplay. Yeah, don't. No call, one will know what you do, Brad, probably. Though. Does he assault the people that call him Brad? He made uh, one note about saying uh, Bradley or something. He said, he, he said it more than once. He said it yeah. more than once. He doesn't like to be called Brad. Yeah, yeah he's Brad a, he was a man of few words. Well, who would, really? You know, Bradley, sorry, is sorry, Bradley Brad. an improvement from sure. Brad? Is Bradley an improvement from Brad? I think so. You think so? Step up? Well, it, it depends. It depends. I mean, I don't like oh. being called Steven, but some yeah. people would think it's an improvement over Steve. Because yeah, well, there's a lot of shitty Steves out there, right? And who wants to be associated with that? What? Never trust a guy named Steve. Steve no, really. <laughs> <laughs> Never Steve. I've been, I've, I got no I've comment got on along that. Famously with, so I don't know. You're, you're, oh, yeah. you're yeah. a fine Steve. I, I yeah. don't know. Other Steves I'm I know exception. are pretty decent. <laughs> They're decent Steves. Thank you. There. Yeah. 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 Thank you for saying that. I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.